Sure. Hi, my name is Jason Lederer. I'm a resource specialist in the Summit County Open Space and Trails Department, and we are at the Swan River Restoration Project site. And right now, uh, crews are working to basically build a new channel and restore what was here prior to mining operations. And uh, you can see a lot of activity behind me. And what they're doing down there is just really creating a channel that'll be suitable for fisheries habitats, uh, recreation for fishermen, and just overall en enjoyment of this piece of open space that's owned by the county and the town of Breckenridge. So prior to construction, this area was, it actually had a fair amount of gravel remaining on it. Much of the Swan River Valley is, is covered in dredge gravels that were left behind as uh, dredge boats, similar to, the one, similar to the one down at the Tiger Dredge, uh, came through the valley and sort of sucked up material from below looking for gold and cast aside whatever they didn't want. In that case, it was a lot of gravel like this. So there was a, a channel here before. It was more of like a roadside ditch and it did move water down the valley. Uh, it went dry seasonally. And what our group and our partners are trying to do is uh, restore a more natural meander to the channel. And, and hopefully in 10 years, you'll never know we were here. It'll be fully revegetated and um, just be what would have been here before. So the channel is, has a real intentional design. It has an intentional width of about 20, 25 feet. And uh, we call it a, uh, a meander ratio. Uh, three, so the stream length is actually longer than the channel length and that's all very intentional and within the channel itself uh, the goal is to create habitat features for for fish and other uh, aquatic organisms to use and so you'll see a series of, um, of of riffles pools and glides and these just sort of step up the valley in a natural way helping control uh, uh, velocity of water in the channel helps control erosion within the channel and uh, they're really critical features for um for that habitat you'll see them naturally occurring in channels that have never been disturbed and our goal here is to recreate that habitat uh, for those environments. The plan for the future is to, is to, is to allow for, for fisheries to be in here. Uh, we know that brook trout like this environment. We've actually seen some trout in here already that have found their way up some of the diversions. Uh, but it really isn't, the goal isn't to have fish in here right this second, but, but they're finding their way. The goal is also to, down the road, uh, hopefully restore a native cutthroat trout fishery in here. Uh, native cutthroat trout are restored to the north fork of the Swan River further up valley. And one of the issues with having them in the same area as non-native species like brook trout is that brook trout outcompete them. So we're being very careful uh, about reintroducing brook trout to the stream uh, so that they aren't cohabitating with the native cutthroat fisheries that are here. Uh, down the road, it's part of the master plan for restoring this entire valley. We'd love to see that happen, and that's something that'll happen who knows when, but uh, it's definitely a goal of the project, it's a goal of our partners. So uh, first, first, first goal is to get the stream right, make sure there's fish in it, make sure that it supports that use, um, and then further restore that, that natural environment from there.